Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're going to be talking about probably the most requested but least covered game engine on this channel, and I'll explain why in just a second, and it is called Hazel from a channel called The Eternal. So first off, why are we talking about Hazel today? Well, this. Hazel, the game engine that I've been working on for the last seven years or so is going to be free, and this is the roadmap of how we get there. So if so there's where we're at. Basically, the Hazel game engine is going to be released for free. We'll get into some of the details about how exactly that is going to work. Now I'm going to talk about why I haven't actually covered this game engine on this channel, even though I cover all kinds of game engines here. First off is it's actually being created by a fellow YouTuber, a fellow by the name of The Cherno uh, and his team. Uh, he was a developer at Electronic Arts. Uh, I believe he worked on the Frostbite engine while he worked there. And then for the last several years, he has been making videos, uh, started off with Java, been working on C, C++ stuff. Um, and then he ultimately documented the entirety of developing the Hazel game engine. So, what am I going to cover when there is literally a YouTube channel covering the development of this engine? There's, there's not much more depth I could get into because it was all fully covered. So that is one of the reasons why I haven't covered the Hazel engine. The other reason uh, is probably this. Oh, it's definitely this, to be honest. And that is to get Hazel. And I'm not, I'm not condemning this. This is definitely a legit method of funding. Uh, but the way it goes is you have to spend... Oh, this is um, $10 USD a month, for some reason $15.50 Canadian a month. You have to spend money to get access to the engine. Yeah, This one, by the way, does not get you there. So this one is the minimum you had to pay. So basically, you had to pay $10 USD a month to get access to Hazel. Now, at first glance, it may look like Hazel is available. And I thought this in the past, I was going to cover it. There is this version out there, released under the Apache license. Uh, but as you'll see, uh, it hasn't been updated in several years time. So this really doesn't exist. If you want to get access to the engine, you need to have access to the repository. And the way you got access to the repository was by linking your Cherno account, sorry, your uh, patron account with the Cherno to GitHub. So this is the way they have financed the engine. Again, no condemnation on the way that they did it, but in a roundabout kind of funny way, it makes this real small indie game engine the most expensive engine to get your hands on, which is kind of insane. It's not the most expensive engine by any definition of the word, um, but when you look at, say, Unreal Engine, you can start using it for free. Unity, you can start using it for free. Godot is free. O3D is free. CryEngine, you can start using it for free. Almost all of the game engines out there right now, you can try out and use for free. And that has been kind of one of the downsides to the Hazel game engine. And that's basically how they fund it. Now, this is something that they've intended to do forever. So you come down here, how do I get it? They actually say right here, 10 bucks USD a month, uh, patron, way they fund the project. And then as it matures and grows, they would like to make it more freely available. Uh, we're going to be doing open source certain systems and so on and so forth. And then eventually our plan is to release Hazel for free in the form of freely available pre-built binaries for all supported platforms. It means that anyone will be able to create and publish Hazel games and applications for free. Source code development branches will remain uh, accessible through Patreon, which will enable us to continue to fund development. So that's exactly what they said in that video we just very briefly looked at. Uh, they are at that stage now. It is going to be free shortly. When is shortly? We will get to that in just a second. In terms of Hazel itself, what is it all about? Well, you see here, it is written in C++ for Windows and Linux, C Sharp.net core scripting, so a Unity-like scripting experience. It uses Vulkan on the back end for rendering, multi-thread runtime for the main thread and render threads and physically based forward plus rendering there you can learn more about hazel over here not a ton more here to be honest just uh, a little bit more details about uh, the creator of hazel and the details and got there and what they are going to do and create so that ladies and gentlemen is the hazel engine and why i haven't actually covered it at this point again when you have a 700k sub youtube channel actually creating the engine there's not much more that i can add to the mix to people that are already interested in hazel because there is a dedicated youtube channel about it and then on top of that inadvertently again for people that are mildly interesting uh, interested in the engine it is technically one of the most 
uh, highest barriers to entry to go ahead and actually download it and check it out yourself. And that's some of the things I'd kind of like to focus on this channel is most of the time if I can stick to stuff that you can get your hands on, uh, I, I do. Sometimes, you know, I cover pure commercial software, but not, not that often really. And that's why Hazel hasn't really been focused on this channel. So that's one of those things that they're going to be featuring here. They're moving towards this binaries available release, and then um, you would have to basically pay to get source code access. And I think that is wonderful because the vast majority of people, especially that are just checking it out, uh, can go ahead and um, just grab the binaries. You can create games with the binaries. They say you'll be able to ship commercial titles um, you know, commission free. So basically you can use the engine however you wish. If you do not need source code access, it will be completely free to use. Now, the thing that you're interested in, in terms of when Hazel will be ready, it's this guy right here. So the roadmap to release, and we'll go over there. And what you will see is once these tasks are completed, they are going to go in QA polish stage, and then they will make the binaries available. How long is this going to take? No clue. Uh, but when this is done, uh, Hazel will be available in binary download format. And at that stage in time, I will cover it like I would any other normal shipped game engine that's out there because you'll be able to get your hands on it generally. But if you're interested in learning more about Hazel, well, there's very good news because the developer uh, has con has basically documented the creation of it from the very, very beginning. So you got a roadmap here. By the way, any one of these things you can drill down in here, learn a little bit more about the features involved in it. But this roadmap is available up here. So middle note board, once they get to that QA stage, I believe is when they are going to ship the binaries for the Hazel engine. And when that happens, I will cover it in more depth on the channel. So uh, if you want to check it out for now, your only way is basically here. And then this is going to continue to exist. This patron is going to continue to be a thing after the shipment goes. And this is going to be the only way you're going to be able to get source code access. Although if you go back and watch this video here about uh, why it and how it's going free, uh, that may change a little bit in time as well. There's a lot more detail about the official roadmap and the moving of free in this particular video if you're interested in checking that one out. And again, if you want to learn more about the Hazel engine, I can't even begin to cover any kind of level of depth compared to what you've got here because there are literally hundreds of videos on uh, development behind it and the process and the roadmaps and all that as well over onto the Cherno YouTube channel. If you're interested in learning more about the, uh, the engine, however, you can head on over to hazelengine.com and when it does go uh, free to use in that binary format, I will, of course, cover it that day. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.